I hope everyone is doing great. In this video, we are going to learn typography, so keep watching. So let's start by creating a new project. Click on File, New. Let's give it typography tutorial name and let's keep the written height same and click on create. We will first discuss a little about different fonts, its sizes, its properties and then we will start making our first typography tutorial. Okay, so to type anything, to type any text, we will use the text tool, which is right here. And you can make a box according to your requirement. Let's keep it like this. And let's type typography. Okay, so to increase or decrease its font size or to change the font, you can see at top right here. From here, you can increase or decrease the size. You can also change it like this. From here, you have different options. That is, either it is condensed, it is bold, and uh, bold, italic. It has many different options. And from right here, you can choose different fonts. You see, uh, you can uh, also download the fonts from online very easily. Here, so we have different types of fonts. Now let's uh, look a little bit about its properties. To check out the property, let's click on this right here character panel. And you have so many options from here. So first is, uh, this is about vertical spacing. For and to understand this, let's type in the next row. Or maybe I should write tutorial. So now you will be able to see that to increasing this will increase the distance between these two rows. So I can make it like this again and this is the horizontal spacing that is the spacing between the characters or i can type like this so you see the distance between the characters has been increased by increasing that particular value well these two basically are for the character stretching so it's better not to use them if you don't have a good grasp um but yes i can show you how this will work so if i increase it to 150 then you see its uh, shape is a little bit stretched so it's better not to use them or if you want to use them then uh, use them in little proportions okay so now let's start working on our typography tutorial let's delete this one and create a new text box and here I'm going to write wake up it's tea time okay so first of all let's reset the setting which I have made let's keep it back to zero same with this one yeah, one more thing. If you don't want to do all the things like this, then just select it and use the eyedropper tool. And here we go. Now we will change its font. I will keep this font as Hello Hand Letter. Uh, I will place the links of these fonts in the description so you can download it from there. And October Twilight. So here we go yes one more thing let's change this t to capital t and yes now i don't want to change anything with these two text boxes so i will just expand them go to object expand appearance and then again click on object expand and okay so here we go 
so now they are expanded so now i can deal with my text as i can deal with the objects that is i do not need to increase its size using that those all text properties uh, now i can easily just uh, stretch them like this by pressing the shift and i can increase its size i can decrease its size whenever i want and um, i can give it gradients different colors and so much stuff with it so now first of all let's ungroup these ones and group this one as separate and this two this two i'm just grouping these ones and i want to keep them together so just let's group them like this now let's first talk about these two words what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a pen tool and I'm going to join these two together. Well, uh, to design things, you have to think creatively. Um, if uh, there is no thought coming in your mind, there's no need to worry. You just can watch different designs, different tutorials and learn from there and just build your skills. Okay, so this is how we're going to attach them together. I'm going to make a heart between them. First, let's increase the distance a little bit. Now I'm going to trace the picture of a heart which I have already downloaded. You can also download it from the internet or I will also place its link in the description. So just click on file and uh, choose the image you want to open and click on place. I have already explained the image tracing in another video so if you haven't watched it yet I will place its link in the description too so you can watch it from there too. So now click on image trace and then expand and then I will ungroup it and will delete the background. Now let's um, remove the filling and increase the stroke a little bit. Now I will make it smaller and I will move it in the middle of the its entity where I want to place it just like this now i'm going to make it a little more smaller yeah it's perfect now now let's increase the stroke to almost 4.5 points yes it's looking perfect now just rotate it a little bit now i'm just setting it in the middle so that um, i can join these three things together so it's good like this let's move the t towards a little left and move the heart a little up and yes it's good now we just expand it so object expand okay uh it's in green color so i'm just giving it black and let's uh, erase the lower portion so i can match them together so now yes it's good let's zoom in a little bit and move the T a little more left and yes now I will draw with the pen tool to join them together so I'm going to remove the filling and I'm going to increase the stroke to 4.5 as I was keeping the heart stroke 4.5 now I will just draw a line from S to that heart and I will press escape to remove that projection so it's also in a little gray, so I'm going to turn its color to black. Now just zoom in a little bit and remove this as our projection to make it look perfect. Now I'm going to draw with pen tool so that it looks like that it was already drawn. Just like this and make it a close part. So now the next thing is to join the T with the heart. So again, just first draw a line and remove the projection. Now I will make it stroke to 4.5 again. Yes, so now to um, make a car, what I'm going to do is I'm just choosing the pen tool and press Alt and just drag it like this. Yes, it's good. Now one thing is I have not removed the filling so select it and remove the filling. Okay, so now let's rotate this line a little bit. Yeah, 
it's good now let's zoom out and see how it's looking so i think i should uh, reduce the distance so just select this heart just like this all and move it a little closer to s and down like this now zoom out yeah it's looking good now so now i have to make it look perfect that is just the uh, little things i will draw them using pen tool first um yes expand them and i will I'm going to use the pathfinder unite tool so that it's all become one shape now all the pen drawings which i have made it will all become now a one shape so now let's draw using pen tool again just like this yes so now it's looking almost perfect again i will form a close path let's zoom in and now it's the turn of the t to make it also smooth so let's erase it a little bit and now again using pen tool first i will form a closed path just like this and now again using alt i will make it part a little curvy just like this let's zoom in and make it a little more down yeah now it's looking good so now again for using the pen tool i will make it smooth from down too again i'm going to make a closed part and yes now i think it's looking perfect so let's zoom out and see it yes now it's looking like it was already placed between them now it's time to make the time smaller and move it a little up let's zoom in and i will make them a complete group and we'll again use the pathfinder unite tool so i'm going to place it like this and the time like this and yes i will make the wake up smaller and i will place it in almost middle or inside yeah i think it's more good like this so let's rotate all of it a little bit and make it a little more smaller and down a little bit yes yes i can make the time attached with the s uh, but the E is right there so I am just going to select E and I'm going to move it a little bit down like this now I think I should move it in the middle yes I think it's good to go now so by keep pressing alt drag it to make a copy of it because now i'm going to give it some offset so click on effects path offset path and click on preview and i'm going to choose the round so i can have round corners i'm going to increase the offset a little bit so you can see like this or i think i should give it 13 yes so click on ok so now you see i have still white uh, holes in it so to cover them what i'm going to do first expand appearance and again expand now i'm going to choose some shape to fill these holes so just make a lips or square or circles or whatever you can do just to fill them up yeah so the, the two holes too here we go now i'm just going to select them all and i'm going to unite them to make uh, them one shape now let's make its color to white and i'm going to place it on this black offset 
so first click on arrange and bring to front so i can see it and i can place it on this black offset like this yes here we go now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one more copy of that offset just by pressing alt and drag it like this and uh, arrange send to back and choose any color you want but i think i want some sort of pink shade so just you can change them from here too so i think yes that's good to go not too reddish not too pinkish so i can move it like this because i just want a little effect of this mm, yes i think it's enough yes it's enough so it's uh, looking a little 3d type effect just because of that red offset so now let's draw some leaves again using pen tool first form a straight line then using alt you can make it a little curvy like this and yes here we go you can watch the other tutorial on pen tool i will place the link in the description so let's make a copy of it and reflect it and place them like this a little rotated now i'm going to give them a little stroke of almost one point same goes with this but i think it should be in the back so arrange and spring to front now i can make it a little smaller and i will place it right here so just set it a little bit move it down rotate it just to make it look good you can also trace the leaves by taking a screenshot and then drawing on it So here we go, I think it's good. Now let's draw some flowers and I will also teach you the concept of clipping mask in it. So again using alt make it curve like this. Now I will form one petal. Yes, I think it's good. So now just give them color and remove the stroke to zero. Now I'm not going to make it a complete flower, nor I'm going to make it look super perfect. I want to make it uh, like it's hand drawn. So just copy paste the petals and form a rough hand drawn flower. You can just keep on copying and pasting it like this. Move it a little like this. Yes, I think it's good to go now. So again, unite them all and increase the stroke to almost one. First, you have to unite it, then give it stroke. Then remove the filling. And here we go. We have a hand-drawn floor. If you are having some difficulty in making the floor, or uh, in image tracing then you should watch the other tutorials i will place the uh, links in the description now using paintbrush tool increase the stroke from here go in the library and artistic and artistic watercolor from 
hair this is my favorite one so just to draw just draw it off easily because we are going to use clipping mask later so just keep on drawing keep on coloring I'm going to give it the same color which I gave the leaves but let's confirm yes it's the same color so um, yes uh, I have still some white uh, background left so I'm going to use uh, this one and I'm going to draw again and I'm going to send this latest one to back you can try various particular brushes I can increase the stroke a little bit I'll go with this one so range sent to back now make it a group and make it a little smaller now I'm going to color my floor and how can I do that? So let's zoom in a little bit and make it copy, finish the stroke and give it some color and color you want. Now place it like this but as I need, uh, first yes, arrange and two front. As I need two floors, so just copy them and paste them like this. Now select both of them, right click and make clipping masks. So here we go and as I want some a little different uh, color in them. So just again, make clipping masks. So I have two floors. Now what I can do is this is my stroke line. So first select all of them and paste them right here like this. So now I'm going to keep its opacity a little less, uh, just the watercolor ones. So just select them. And I think it's enough. Now I'm going to place the stroke above this one. So first make it a lot smaller and send it to back. And as I have told you that I don't want it to be super perfect because I want it to look like hand drawn. So I, I will keep it like this and make it smaller that is not perfectly place it over a little bit rotated and like this uh, the same goes with this one but I have forgot to keep a stroke line so I can get it from there but first place it like this arrange send to back because I want one to be at the back and the other to be front so i can make it a little bigger and copy it so that i can stroke but yes first i have to ungroup it and delete the color one and here i go and again i will rotate it make it smaller just like this <coughs> Yeah, I think it's good to go. Now I can bring it to front and a little more bigger like this. Now what I want is I want to add the leaves like that. So I can just copy and paste them right here. Make them smaller and uh, load stroke. I will place two leaves, one right here and one on the this side. So first I will reflect it and I have to rotate it a little bit so I can place the leaf at a perfect position yeah I think it's better one just a little rotated and yes it's looking awesome so yes, one more thing is I have to uh, bring the wake up to the front as I can see that this line is coming through it. So just select it and arrange and send to front or bring to front. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an embossed type look. So how can I make that is just simply copy it. I am going to give it a little stroke and um, keep the color white. 
and I think it's like it's okay now I'm going to decrease its opacity and now all I have to do is to set it up so just let's zoom in a little bit and bring it a little to up and like this so now you can see that I have just got a look like it's embossed in it I can zoom it and you can see that from here so I can increase the opacity a little bit yeah it's good to go so now what can I do is to make it look more professional what I can do is I can see right here that the S and the comma are just merged with the T so I'm just going to separate them and for that how can I do is simply use a pen tool and draw a curve like this yeah and i'm going to give it a stroke of black color so just select the black color and yes i can uh, from uniform i will choose this one so it's having a little curve so here we go yes looking good same i will do with the s again select the pen tool and just draw like this i have to rotate it a little bit first i will select the same brush now <coughs> i can rotate it and stretch it a little bit so that it look perfect yeah here we go so I have done with the comma, I'm done with the S. Now what can I do is I can place a paper background in. But first let's uh, bring it to the center. And let's decrease the artboard size. Mm, um, a little more. And I think it's enough. So I can bring it to the center and now i will place a paper background i have already downloaded it and i will place it in the description link so you can get it from there so click on file open and i have the illustrator file named as paper background so i can just open it it's taking a little time so first i will make a layer and i will bring it down and I will lock the first one um, and I will copy or drag it to here if you don't know much about layers then you can watch the tutorial in which I made an illustration I first explained the layers in detail so I can make it a little smaller right now just equal to the size of the artboard like this now i can lock the a lower one and unlock the top layer and now you can see now one more addition which i can do is i can uh, place a little shadow type effect and how can i do that is uh yes one more thing which is really irritating me is this e so i can make it all better by forming it like this one you can um take it like uh, uh, keep it as it is but uh, you can also change it like this so it's become a little prominent if you're just irritating it so i can keep it like this here now yeah i know i can see the holes clearly now i will first of all ungroup it because i want a little shadow effect so again copy it and i will choose a great color and i will send it to the back and i will make its opacity a little less or i think it's enough and now i can just arrange it just like the pink one i just will keep a slight offset in them and here we go so a little layer a little shadow type layer making it look more 3d so here we go so this was all about today 
Today we have learned about typography, things about fonts, font sizes, horizontal and vertical spacing. So yes, uh, one more tip here. Whenever you are working with uh, multiple rows, then keep the vertical spacing a little less. It will uh, give you a more professional look. And finally, this is a task for you. Um, you can uh, make it with the uh, same steps as you have done with its tea time. Uh, but if you face any difficulty, then you can surely ask in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Keep watching.